hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, P game. So um, with this being said, I wanted to do basically a closing arguments and wrap up this situation with Mike Tyson. So it's been basically a week since this happened. But as you can see, the media has quickly shied away from this story or they didn't want to pick up this story because they didn't like what they found when they did research on this dude, Melvin Townsend, because what they wanted to do was set set Mike Tyson up to basically to where they can demonize him and portray him in a certain way. And I think a lot of people are gonna have to accept the fact that this dude wasn't no innocent bystander that Mike Tyson just lost control and basically attacked you know who was just a fan and you know Mike Tyson just mean and all this kind of stuff because you know if they weren't able to find anything on this dude they would have been trying to portray Mike Tyson as a convicted felon and all this kind of stuff so the media, once again, they exposed themselves. Now, it's cool that they shied away from this story, but at the same time, you have to call them out, too. Because they didn't want to put out this dude's history. At first, they was like, oh, Mike Tyson beats up, beats up a passenger. That was the headline. That was the headline. Mike Tyson beats up passenger. They didn't put the fact that the dude antagonized him. They said what may have happened, but now that they know what happened, and then they did research on this dude and seen that this dude is a career criminal and has a very shaky background who's done time. You know, he's done, you know, three years in prison. Because the idea... The objective was to turn this into, you know, another violent attack by a black man on a white man. But due to the fact that they was able to find a shit sheet on this dude, they like, OK, um, if we try to run with this story, social media is going to tear us to shreds. Mainstream media, lamestream media, they know that they would have got tore to shreds. So basically what they decided to do is don't pick up the story. And then they wasn't telling the whole side of the story that witnesses collaborated that this man was harassing Mike Tyson throughout the fight, standing over him, talking crazy, filming him and stuff. And then nobody also wants to talk about the fact that a racial slur was thrown in Mike Tyson's direction. The you should have, oh, excuse me, they should have never gave you niggas money. So the media also left out that part. Wonder why, wonder why ESPN didn't run that story. Wonder why Fox Fox Sports didn't run that story and play the part where they said they should have never gave you niggas money. Oh, oh, I know why. I know why, because it didn't fit their agenda. And then they're saying, that they turned off the camera when dude got ready to throw the water bottle. And they said that they, that they threw a water bottle. Somebody threw a water bottle at Mike Tyson, which was him, which led to Mike Tyson putting blenders on him. So technically, this dude assaulted Mike Tyson first. You throw an object at somebody if it's filled with something, if it has if it has water in it, if it has anything in it, it's considered assault. So technically, Mike Tyson was well within his rights to defend himself. So to me, it also looked like these dudes were trying to uh, try to orchestrate a quick come up. Oh, Mike Tyson beat me up. I'm just a fan. And they're saying that this dude was intoxicated on the plane, that he was under the influence. They're saying this dude got caught with a shitload of Oxycontin before. But you see how mainstream media get down? 
Real talk. You see how mainstream media get down? They really didn't want this story. You see how TMZ didn't shied away from this story? Because they basically found out that this dude's background is, is real sketchy. See, they knew not to go with this story because, like I said before, they knew that they would get ripped to shreds by people in social media. They knew that black media would tear them to shreds. So it's showing you the, the impact and the power that we now have now. So, yeah. This is why, why, why mainstream media started to back away and shy away from this story. Not because they cared about Mike Tyson. They knew that they knew not to go that direction because, like I said, keep in mind, mainstream media have a agenda. And when it comes to these situations, their agenda is to demonize black men at all cost. No matter what the situation is, even if you put in a position where you have no choice to defend yourself, They'll somehow, some way, try to make it your fault. You shouldn't have did this. You need to learn how to do that. Do that. They'll call it toxic masculinity. But yet they fighting the war over there in the Ukraine. Well, they ain't calling that toxic masculinity. Because they always say whenever you resort to violence, it's toxic masculinity. Whatever, man. Anyway, this boy Tampa is a mouth.